Uh, coach, how do you feel overall about this game here tonight? Uh, obviously, it didn't go your way, but you got down 9-2, to two, but your girls kept fighting back, and they were able to cut the deficit to four. Just wondering your overall thoughts on how this team was able to, you know, make this a game and uh, celebrate a great season overall. Yeah, they in the first half, it was a, a, definitely a game of the defenses. Um, both defenses played really well. It was a close game. Um, I feel like the girls played with a lot of heart all the way to the end. Uh, we were disappointed with the number of fouls called against us. It was very lopsided today. So um, for them to be able to go out and keep playing, we couldn't be prouder of them. Coach uh, Betts, I forgot to mention that in the beginning of the interview. It's Coach Roxanne Betts. And uh, the season has been one of the best that this girls team has seen in recent years. This is a, They were playing for a league title for the first time since 2011. And this team only with one loss on the year to this Easton team. And now it's two. But talk about how you've been able to turn this team into contenders. And you've still got districts coming up in the next week. We do. It, it comes from the kids. They have a lot of heart. Our senior leadership's phenomenal. Um, so I give a lot of credit to the kids and all the hard work they've put in over the last two years, honestly, um, to get to this point. And I, we definitely are looking forward to districts. Uh, kind of refocus and hopefully we get another chance against Easton. This game, you mentioned the lopsided calls and uh, how the girls were able to stick together. That's something this team has shown throughout the year is that no matter what adversity is thrown at them, they're able to stick together. Uh, how are you going to be able to keep this team together and keep them focused on what the next step ahead is? Well, I think they're going to, I'm going to give them a little bit of a break to just kind of rest and recover. Um, districts, we have some time before the district games come up. Um, but then we're going to refocus. They're just such a close-knit group of kids. They've been playing together for many years. Um, so they'll be ready for the challenge, no doubt. Coach Betts, congratulations on what has been a great year, and hopefully best of luck to you in the district playoffs. Thank you. Here with Easton Girls Lacrosse Coach Michelle Mahelko. Coach, this is a very good achievement for you. You were able to win 10-5 to today against a really good Emmaus team who has gotten better over the last few years, and they're the only, you are the only team that has beaten them this season, and you've done it again, and you've got a medal around your neck. How does this feel? This feels absolutely amazing. This is what we've worked for. Um, with losing last year, you know, we came out extra motivated um, just to do it for our seniors and for the players last year that didn't get an opportunity to play um, we worked really hard to get here so we're, we're so excited this game you know it was looking really good for you you got out to a, a two nothing lead and then Emmaus was able to battle back into it but then you opened the door to nine to two but then they just kept coming back but it was a little too much a uh, hole they dug to uh, get back fully into it but you had to call a timeout on the little run they were on so what was said in that timeout to make sure your girls finished the job just to make sure that we're taking care of the ball when we have it you know in our possession um, and just to use the clock to our advantage and never um, settle. Your goalie has been outstanding this entire season and she was huge again tonight. There were several Amaya's chances that, you know, had they gone in, this game would have looked a lot differently. Talk about her performance. Absolutely. Kylie comes to play every single game. She rises to the challenge every time we need her. Um, I can't say enough good things about her and she's always so composed and just ready to go at all times. That's one gold medal around your neck now and now you get to look for the district playoffs to chase another gold medal. What are you going to look forward to going into that? You know what? It's uh, Leagues were, were a different season and now this is a different season and the mindset is that we're never going to get comfortable um, districts would be amazing for us that would be a first for our program so that's definitely on the horizon and that is what we're going we want to achieve that so coach congratulations on the win today and best of luck in the district tournament thank you so much